Hi everyone, I'm Pavni. I am a, a VP of Engineering here, a leading Project Unicorn on Kids and Families. And I am just absolutely thrilled to be here. Uh, we have two very special guests for talks at Google, as you know. Uh, we get a lot of amazing actors and musicians and artists here, but today I think is very, very special as we have Ajay and Kajol. They have entertained us in Bollywood for almost 25 years. They have won numerous Filmfare Awards and Padam Shri's. So I am absolutely thrilled to have them here. And they're going to be talking to us about the new movie, Shivai. Uh, and the movie is scheduled to come out in uh, Diwali time. So please join me and show your enthusiasm in welcoming Ajay and Kajol. <laughs> Welcome to Google. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank much. We're thrilled to be here and have you here. As you can see, we have several hundred Googlers here and watching us on live stream. And then later, we are also going to be posting on YouTube. And so we're, the company is excited to be hosting you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And I am too, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I think my first question I was going to lead, uh, lead uh, with you, Ajay. Uh, is it your first visit to the Bay Area, to the tech capital of the world? Uh, no, but I've come after years. After years? Yeah. Uh, Everything has changed. So technically, I would say it's my first visit. <laughs> How are you finding it? It's I've hardly word. seen anything. I mean, it's it's fabulous. Uh, but I've just it's, entered, and uh, it's been just like f three hours. Yeah. We just went to the we just landed like we la landed in the morning yeah, this morning. So. And I know you stayed for a while in Bay Area uh, with my name is Khan. Uh, uh, yes, San Francisco, we did. and yes, it was lovely. To I love San Francisco. The city so through your that. eyes. Yes, it's one of my favorite cities in the world. I love it. Love so, it. Um, oh. What, 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 what's your favorite place? People are asking. Like they want to go see Kajal. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite place. I don't know because I think uh, San Francisco is one of those wonderful uh, combination cities. It's it's just got the best of uh, you know Europe, America, and uh, it's it's just it's so perfect. I mean, you have the most amazing houses. You have the most amazing uh, uh, food. It is my favorite city. Yeah, the most is. amazing people. Thank you so much for all you guys coming. <laughs> Um, so, uh, as you might know, YouTube is part of Google, and uh, uh, I, uh, you have a very, very popular channel on YouTube, and uh, so we call, uh, we can, I think, pretty much safely call him a YouTuber, what you guys think? <laughs> yeah. So, and recently I know you released the wonderful trailer of your film, Shivai, yeah. on it, and I was looking, and it quickly got like 20 million views, which is, um, which is quite impressive. So question for you is, how has your YouTube journey been so far? It's been fabulous. I, was, I think I was late entering it, but uh, now that I'm in, and uh, uh, it's fabulous. I mean, I mean I'm nowadays most of the time on YouTube. <laughs> So, um, you know, we have, we have some Google engineers and I think YouTube engineers too watching. And so, I, I, as I was saying, you, uh, if you have some wish list, we, they might say make it, you can say make it so to them and they might actually make. How, uh, okay, so let me think of something and then I'll let you know. <laughs> something really difficult. <laughs> um, so speaking of YouTube, uh, one of the things, we had a lot of questions and we couldn't accommodate everyone. So we uh, picked a few uh, questions on the videos. And speaking of videos, one of the super fans of your schedule has submitted a video question for you today. Uh, 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 super, he's, she's like one of the biggest fan, Ray Ray Lee. She's a Googler in Mountain View. Okay. And so we would love to roll the video question if we can. Hi, my name is Ray Ray. Um, I'm a huge fan of Kajal's um, because of her movie DDLJ, which really got me into Bollywood. Um, but I was wondering for her what her thought process is when she's deciding which project and movie to be in, um, and also which of those is her favorite um, and why. Thank you. Uh, OK, what is my thought process? Um, you know, I'm a big reader. I love to read. I've been one of those voracious readers from the time, I think my mother tells me from the time that I was two, I was reading the newspaper, the headlines of the newspaper at that age. So I, I love, love, love to read. And when I, when I listen to a script, 
that's really what I'm uh, expecting the script to be. I'm expecting it to be my favorite book. And if it is, if it comes up to that level, then I'm like, okay, I'll do your film. <laughs> and if it doesn't, which most of the time it doesn't, uh, you know, I'm like, ah, okay, not so great at the end of the day. So uh, yeah, that, that's really my uh, first and only criteria, that it should be an amazing book. That's awesome, like that you go in with a completely open mind and read a book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome. Um, she f going along, I think we, uh, I understand that you've been on a whirlwind tour here for the movie. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about the tour and also how the film came about? Um, this tour has been very short. I mean, day before yesterday, we landed in uh, New York. Uh, yesterday morning, we were in Houston. Uh, we, we were in uh, Dallas. We, we were in Dallas yeah. and Chicago. And now we are here and uh, leaving tonight and going back to India because I have to finish my film, so I, I can't afford staying for another day. Uh, so this has been my journey right now. Yeah, tell us what brought it on. Like, how did you conceive uh, of the idea? It was the basic idea which, uh, uh, which, which inspired me because, uh, you know, I, I would like to make films which really touch your heart and the, this was something, uh, not the story, but the, uh, but the relationship. It's, it's about the relationship I speak about, uh, which, which is very close to my heart. And uh, that's how the idea started. And I had read an article uh, which was... Uh, which really inspired me, uh, so so we started working on it, and that's how the whole process started. And once we got the script right, then you know, um, then I really felt that I need to take this film beyond, uh, because why do why do people have to turn around and say that you know we can't do this in our country? I mean, we can't make films uh, at par, or I would say want to make better than you know, world cinema or. Uh, Hollywood films, and uh, that's how the whole process started. So it's t like a true made in India film. Uh, I would say that. I would. Wow, say. let's uh, let's roll the trailer and then we can talk a little sure. bit more about. So, uh, folks, here is Shivai. काटा लगे ना कम कर रण में रुद्र घरों में शंकर अंत यही सारे बिंदों का इस बोले का बार भयंकर विनाश चंद्र विनाश चंद्र विनाश चंद्र विनाश चंद्र 
Incredibly magical. Thank um, you so much. I think uh, it's very impressive. Uh, I was wondering, uh, we are here at Google, like the heart of tech, and maybe you can take us through your journey on how you actually managed to make a, a film like I this. Think, and I think how I would like to tell you all after I release the film, first you <laughs> need to say, because uh, you should not give out so many secrets. But uh, yes, we worked very hard on it. And uh, our biggest challenge, I would say, was uh, we have, uh, our country has lovely technicians, so it is not that, uh, you know, we don't have the talent. Uh, I can see most of our talent here also. So uh, it, is, it is usually the budgets which restrain us. And more than that, I would say it's the planning. And if you are, if you are technically savvy, you can execute a lot of things. You do not need to... Uh, go mad and spend like you know uh, they they do in Hollywood because we can't afford that much. But we can we can uh, we can get that kind of quality if we if if we apply our mind right and uh, you if know, we do it smartly, smartly and shoot it right. Yeah, and I think I was reading online that you almost like you saw a need and uh, the film needed a certain type of camera, and then instead of like nothing was available, and you kind of. No, kind the, of the, uh, there was some kind of equipment. If you see the shots, which rotate all around and things like this, and that that kind of equipment, uh, uh, most of it is not. Uh, I mean, we don't have it, and uh, there are some equipment which are, which are not there at all. So. We designed it, uh, I would say, like a desi stuff, but, you know, where <laughs> where we could get our job done perfectly. And, um, yeah, so we all worked very hard over it. And uh, and we figured out, we designed the shots first, uh, because the most important thing is how you design the shot. And then uh, when I did design the shot, people said, okay, this sounds very good, because about how you how are you going to execute it? And that was the challenge. And then it just happened, touch wood, very easily. Yeah, Kajal was saying uh, at, uh, behind the screen that you are a tinkerer and uh, uh, you like to kind of make make your own things and uh, experiment and uh, no, take you... no for an answer. And I also read you Literally. kind of drove the team to quite off the edge too, not just in the movie, actor off the edge. So Yes. Was... Uh, uh, in fact, uh, my, uh, my father uh, is and was uh, the most... Uh, uh, Respected action directors in our country, and uh, and uh, the kind he invented of, so much. He invented himself, so much. As he, far as filmmaking was concerned, when 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 VFX and CGI was not there, I mean, he did films like Mr. India, and if I if I don't know if you all have seen a film called Mr. India, which yeah. was yeah um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, at that point of time, it was all live, so you yeah. you, know, you could you could cheat, you could, and he could manage doing a lot of things and. I was eight, nine years old, and when you know, I used to, I used to keep discussing with him. And he used to come and tell me, "I did this. Tell me how." And that's how the whole process started. By the age of twelve, I was editing with him, and uh, and editing at that point of time was not on uh, with a mouse, so it was oh, actually it was, it was actually frame actually, actually by a frame. machine called the Movilla. Yeah. So you had to uh, hold the reel, and you you had to stand, and there was a small monitor, and you had to wow. it was, press was, the pedal like the like the accelerator, so you, yeah. and we had to stand then keep rolling with our hands, uh, and uh, I mean cut actually the cut the actually frame, cut join the frame join it, film. print. So it was it, it was a very different process altogether. So we've gone through all that, and uh, at that point of time, I started making films uh, myself also, and uh, and obviously. Um, I couldn't afford it, so. But I, I started making my own equipments at that point of time, uh, where Holly. I could take shots, which uh, which so many people at that 
at that point of time, used to see those small videos of mine and say, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, they're all my father's friends. Uh, they used to, son, can I use this shot in, in, a, in, a, in a film? <laughs> I'm going to copy you. So go ahead. Uh, so it was like this. That is the whole process. So I, 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 think, I think because of my father, I learned a lot. And uh, I tried to create things which were not possible also. Yeah, I mean, it shows in the... And nowadays, it's how become a lot more easier how, also with uh, VFX and, you know, lots of things coming in. But at that point of time, there was nothing. How different it is. I feel um, like you are going to single-handedly raise the bar on Bollywood. Not single-handedly. Kind of I, <laughs> think, I, I think the whole team has team, made a very big eff yeah. effort. Um, and, I think and um, the thing that struck me here was um, uh, it's quite an action-packed film. Honestly, uh, yeah. it's an emotional drama. Uh, but uh, if if you see, if you notice the action part of it also, it's not just for the sake of it. And there is pain on the face, on my face also, on the other actors also who are who are doing action at that point of time. So it's it's actually a very real kind of thing. Wow. Um, one of the things I was talking in the hallway, and someone mentioned that uh, you know you have always been at the forefront of this action dramas, like uh, we like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger come to mind for Bollywood, right? Uh, would, you, would you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I also... Better uh, accent, though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I read that a lot of times you like even doing the stunts yourself and to figure out how these stunts are done. And, no, I... Uh, and, um, uh, uh, so you are not just like tough guy on the screen, but you are actually trying to live it. Actually, that is by default because uh, uh, when, my, when, I, when I started acting, my first film came in. Uh, as I told you, I, 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 I am an action director's son. So they expected me to do the action myself. They did not, they thought, I mean, he would not need a duplicate. And I was practiced for it because, uh, because of my father and his whole team and everything. So... Uh, Actually, it was by default. So I was I was pushed into it that you know you you are an action director's son, so you have to do your action yourself. <laughs> well, great results we have to say. Yeah, and then I started see, enjoying right? it, and now it is. Shivai, Singham. I mean, there's so there's a whole. Yeah, yeah. and now uh, it's been 25 years in the industry. So when I started, I was 19. I'm like 47 now, and now I like doing my own stunts. Trying to prove a point, what the duplicates can't do, I can do. So I want to give some kind of satisfaction. <laughs> so much for showing the way. Great. I think it's great. I think the uh, Google team wanted to know what's next for you. What's the next big challenge? Are we going to see uh, you guys in some romantic role, maybe? Uh, what's coming next? Give us something uh, that we can't. We're starting a film on, on, on our production, we're starting a film with her, which is a fabulous script, and she's yeah. loved a lot. Like, just, she just said that she takes her time to choose a script. <laughs> so, yeah. so, we'll be actually be able to see, see both of you? No, on? I wouldn't be uh, in that film. Because I'll I, try to make him do a cameo or a passing yeah. shot or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think we should, right? I, <laughs> like, uh, clap your hands, like, or stomp your feet if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Sorry? <laughs> See? Yeah, that's I've not been a telling idea. him, he told me I got married to you, that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> I I read somewhere that you never left home without your sense of humor and <laughs> it shows, right? Uh, um, so we uh, uh, we've heard from some global fan, but we uh, you also have a huge fan following in India, of course, and also in Google in India. And so our next question is going to come from a Googler all the way uh, in Hyderabad. Wow. So could we please roll the question? Hello, Ajay sir. Hello, Kajol ma'am. Uh, I am Shum, and uh, I am from Hyderabad. Uh, it's really a great pleasure for me uh, to get this opportunity to ask you a question. And uh, I have been a very big fan uh, of both of you, you know, since a long time, uh, ever since the Pyar Toh Hona Hi Tha days. Uh, so today the question I'm going to ask is for both of you. Uh, and the question is, uh, you have both been in the industry for a very, very long time. And during this time, there has been a sea of changes. My question to both of you today is, as established uh, superstars, what do you both do to keep up with these changes? Thank you. Honestly, uh, very little. <laughs> no, in fact, in fact, we learn uh, learn a lot from our kids. Yeah. 
and uh, their friends in the new generation. I think it's very, very important. Um, I don't even know how to be on the net properly. I mean, whatever I learn is from my daughter. And, and when I ask her a question and she does, does something, and I say, how did you do it? She says, don't ask me, you're old pop. <laughs> so that's the answer we get. They can, they can do anything. So I think it's, it's We it's can great. relate. We, I can relate Of too. course, and it's great. And it's great. You have to learn from them. Yeah. And that's yeah. And that's the keep, future. That's, that's how you keep upgrading yourself. It's yeah. great answer. I think Kajal was telling us at the back was that she's a big Android fan. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> and she frequently has a debates in, uh, you, you have debates in the house because the kids like iPhones and she loves Android. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> we are thrilled to hear that. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, this is a question, and the next question is uh, kind of uh, related to the change. And uh, we are at Google are very passionate about women's <coughs> empowerment, and I right. know both of you are. And um, uh, I just saw the parched uh, movie trailer that you released at, on YouTube, uh, and uh, it kind of moved me. Uh, it promises to, I haven't watched the full movie yet, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. And um, um, a question first for you, Kajal, on the topic is, it seems from outside of Bollywood that a change is coming slowly, uh, slowly in terms of respect and female actress respect in Bollywood. It is, and, definitely. Uh, and uh, I think that's because, uh, you know, like, like I said earlier also, it's, that's because the audience has changed. Not for any other reason, but you know, when people start turning around and spending money to go and watch a film which is not in the quote unquote regular stream of films or regular kind of genre, I think that's when the change actually happens. And right now, actually, I think it's an amazing time in the film industry because uh, we have so many different kinds of films being made. And it is now economically feasible for them to be made because people are going outside watching them enjoying them. Social media has a lot to do with it because they go out and they talk about it on, uh, you know, every media platform that they can find. And uh, I, I think that in itself makes it huge that, you know, you don't have, um, you don't have that uh, herd mentality anymore to say that, you know, if one person, you, you know, nobody is making money on this film because one person has not liked the film. Right. You have a hundred different opinions. Everybody has their opinion and everybody, you know, can go out and say that, you know, I like this film, let me go and watch it and let me take my 30, 40 friends with me. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, when as I was watching the trailer for Parched, I was like moved. I'm like, okay, this is a story that we should have told a while ago and I'm really glad that someone... No, the best part is uh, the, the film is based in India, but uh, uh, I mean, it's gone all over the world. It's gone to 28, uh, um, 28, film 28 film festivals. It's won 18, 18. awards. And wow. people, women people all over the world connect with this film some way or the other from every know, they, kind of strata they feel, they, they it feel that matter. that it is their film yeah. so i think the situation for women is the same same all over the world i mean it must be different well, women feel the same all over the world i think no, and, ha and get and and, get and they're put in the same this, kind yeah, of situation so also, yeah, yeah. I so, think it's so great to see both of you championing this really, really important social causes. We try to balance it well. I mean, uh, because uh, the field we are in uh, entertainment, uh, it cannot just be about social causes also because people expect you to make films which entertain them in whatever format. I mean, not just comedy, but any which way which, which touches them. So uh, we need to strike a balance and that's what we try to do. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you guys haven't watched it, I I was quite. Moved. And I just I wanted to just say one thing about Parched that uh, it's one of those films. Sorry, I'm just gonna just put it out there. But Parched is one of those films that is not preachy, that is not uh, you know trying to teach you anything. It's not giving you a lesson. It's not. Uh, it's literally like a slice of life. It could be your life. It could be my life. It could be your best friend's life with you. So it's uh, it's it's that kind of a film, and it's. There is something that the message behind Parched is absolutely wonderful because the message behind Parched is that women's empowerment starts with women. It starts with every woman standing up for herself. You may need a helping hand sometimes, but it, stands, it starts with you inside yourself. That power within you, you have to access. And that's what Parched is. Well said. Well said. Somebody just said that I've seen it. I 
I yes. felt as a woman, I felt this is what I was waiting for. Yeah, awesome. And I felt so proud there is someone out there for us who is thinking about it and is making such movies. I hope the director of the film is listening to this, and this is for her. Um, so I'm going to shift gears a little bit and kind of go bit, uh, from real to real, real life. Um, uh, and I'll start with you, Kajal. Uh, you have played multiple roles, right? Uh, daughter, girlfriend, my wife, mother. Girlfriend was too long back. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you find most challenging and satisfying, both in the real and the real? <laughs> Um, you know, you know, uh, my husband told me this, this amazing line. He's like, you know, uh, women from the time that their kids have played multiple roles, are taught to play multiple roles. That's why we're so good at multitasking. Uh, so we're natural multitaskers because we're sisters, we're daughters, we're, uh, we're children. We, are, uh, we grow up and we become, uh, I, we become girlfriends, meant, wives. What I meant was... Uh, Women, their roles keep changing, you know. When they start from daughters, sisters, girlfriends, wives, mothers, they keep evolving. Uh, men don't. <laughs> Which is a fact. A man is always a man. And would want to be a man. Till he dies. And even, even when we talk about past, it's, it's, it's just not about women. It's about yeah. the pressure of society on men to do certain kind of things and to, remain to show in a certain group. that they are men. But yeah. you don't need to prove that prove that you're a man. You don't need to prove it. To you don't need to do anything. whatever they say that you need to do to prove that you're a man. So I think women evolve faster and that's why they grow uh, better and uh, men get stuck. I, I really read this also uh, that, you know, uh, it, it, it was, maybe it was mythology or what, that in the, in the, in the uh, olden times, uh, man was supposed to ask to, uh, I mean, in Hinduism maybe, take sannyas or, or just leave the family and go away after the age of 40, 45, because it is the same thing that a man couldn't change. He always wanted to rule the house. He wanted, he wanted the power. And obviously, it's the same lion mentality. You know, when, when, when the other one has come, one has to leave the jungle. Yes, yeah. It's, I, I think it's really great to see you guys have such a great report and partnership of views as well. That's, uh, this kind of really uh, brings me to the next question, which is one of our other video questions from a fan, uh, from fans, Michelle and Monica, who want to kind of learn about your secrets uh, of what we call here like work-life balance, if there is such <laughs> a thing. So could we roll the video question, please? Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Monica, and we're super big fans of yours. And we were curious, as a high-profile couple, are, how do you balance being a couple with your careers? Hold on. I will. Uh, <laughs> don't need to ask me that question. You have to stop me and put a muzzle on my mouth most of the time. Uh, but uh, I think, you know, this is something that, uh, that a lot of people ask us, that how do you balance? How do you make that, how do you make it work? How do you make it okay every day? And uh, I, I just have one answer for that because you have to work at it every day. You can't decide that, okay, today I'm taking a holiday from work. That's not going to happen. It's a relationship. It is, a, it, is, it is your life at the end of the day. It's your kids, your husband, and whatever. They are, they are, I mean, they are my life for sure. I don't know about everybody else, but yeah, they are my life. And when I'm talking about, when you're talking about balancing your personal work and your family life together, it's a work in progress every day. You put in that effort, you put in that little extra every day. And you have to put in a little bit of extra for yourself as well. I mean, there's no two ways about it. If you don't, put in that little extra for yourself, you will feel shortchanged. And that's where all the guilt starts and that's where all those you know, horrible cycles start where we don't want to, you know, oh God, I'm feeling martyred and oh God, why I'm doing all this and nobody else is helping me out and all that. So I think, uh, I, I honestly believe that everybody has to, every day is a new day. Every day, some days I'm a good mother, some days I'm not a good mother. Some days I'm a better wife, some days I'm a better actor. Some days I'm a, uh, you know, some days I'm a better multitasker. Some days I don't finish my checklist that I wake up with in the morning. So I think uh, 
forgive yourself for whatever you're doing. We women are conditioned to carry so much guilt from uh, the time that we're born, really. I think we need to learn how to forgive ourselves and teach our children that. Great, here, here. Great. Um, so I, I know you have two lovely kids in Nas NASA and I you. Do. So. I do, Nissa. Nissa, and, yeah. and you, uh, you both come from a long lineage of film families. Uh, um, and uh, acting and directing and action is in your blood. And we are curious, uh, uh, do, you, uh, do you coax them to follow your footsteps into and join the industry? Do you take them to work? How do you approach no, kids? we don't. We don't do that. They're too small uh, as yet. My daughter is just 13. 13. So and she looks uh, very, very now, now she's started teaching us. But <laughs> Uh, too small as yet, so it's it's. And I think as parents right also, we I I mean it's like what makes her happy, and we'd rather as as uh, as um, two people who have so much of the limelight on us, keep the limelight away from them so that they grow up to have um, a personality of their own, have dreams and aspirations of their own, which are maybe somewhat connected to us, but not connected to who and what we are. I think. Um you're right. We early on, you want to shield them so that they can develop their whole own, develop on their own, and yeah. develop their own. Um, so, talking about limelight, you know, one of the questions that came up is: none of us uh, know the fame and recognition that both of you do, and I know it must impact uh, your daily lives. And so, one of the questions that came up is: how do you live in this bubble? Like, if you want to go to chop party and have pani puri or go to the jubh or um, see now you have convinced me i'm taking my <laughs> shoes off i'm very uncomfortable i've got band-aids on my feet i'm just taking them off now and i'm going to stand on my tippy toes and nobody's supposed to comment on my height <laughs> I, I, I said to her before, and it will be fine. <laughs> this is Google. <laughs> but do you have to work work at uh, just making uh, your lives regular in some way? Uh, it's, actually, it's been quite a few years now. I mean, we did have issues earlier, but I think it becomes a part of your life now. And, uh, and I think the kids have also gotten used to it. We were very worried at one point because... Uh, you know, when the kids were younger, it was like they were really small. And, you know, when you're entering an airport or something like that, and you have like 30, 40 people trying to, you know, grab onto you or click pictures or screaming and shouting. It, you know, yes. my daughter and they're, they're kids, they're small. And they feel like, oh, my God, you know, somebody's attacking you or somebody's like, you know, trying to get on you. And you're trying to control the kids and you're trying to, you know, manage the media. And it was... When they were younger, it was a bit of a mess. But I think now they've, now that they've grown up a little bit, they've gotten used to it. We've gotten used to it. So, yeah, we're better now. OK, awesome. So I have one uh, last question uh, for both of you. Um, and it goes back to uh, you two make such a magical pair off screen. And the uh, Googlers, the, one of the top requests from the Googlers is they would like to see you on screen together. Um, so uh, when can we expect to see you guys together on screen? Hopefully when we get the right script, I think. Uh, ah, the right book. <laughs> uh, yeah, the right book. Uh, we both are quite fussy. And if we, if we work together, I, I think it should be some, something fabulous. And, we both should like. Which justifies both of us and where we are like, and who we are today. Like the film uh, she's doing right now, uh, which we'll, we'll start, uh, there's, there's no character for the... If I have to play any character in the film, it'll be, it'll be her son. So... Uh, <laughs> yes. so I think the sense of humor runs in the family. <laughs> what is it? At my cost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I wanted to say a huge uh, thank you to both of you for coming here. Thank you. We thank really you. enjoyed this conversation. And uh, you have an amazing movie coming up in Shivai. And uh, we look forward to watching it. Uh, and it's releasing and on the 28th of October, in case you y'all guys, nobody knows about it, which I'm sure you'll already know. But <laughs> So uh, uh, folks, please give uh, them a big, big round of applause. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. It's lovely being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.